Welcome. I felt like I had to lie to protect her for the fact that she gave me a black eye. more to the story and trust me you're all gonna want to hear it five minutes ladies make your way to the stage please okay, we're going you ready, you ready? Yeah. Okay. Okay. archangel michael please protect oh, yeah. us <laughs> Watch your step up here. Okay. Hi, Meredith. Good to see Brought you. Brought your purse? I did because I have a lot of notes. Okay. Hey, Hi. Lisa. I look like a holiday decoration. Yeah, you do. Hey, Angie K. Hi, Andy. How you doing? Hey, Whitney. I thought I was avoiding the hot seat today. Yeah, well, here you are. Someone's got to do it. You. What? Hi, Monica. Hello. How we doing? Great. Good to see you. You too. All right, you guys ready? In five seconds, four, three, start your move. Two, one, push one, go in. Welcome to the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City Season 4 Reunion. I'm Andy Cohen, still reeling from an explosive season and jaw-dropping finale that has left us all feeling trapped in the devil's triangle. And I mean, this is an acid trip. Yes. <laughs> I don't know whether to be cold or hot. Well, I should point out that since your finale, which took place in Bermuda, you all as a group really have not been together or spoken. Is that correct? That's correct. Yes. I feel like they have been together. I think they were together a lot. Yeah. Minus me. Right. Well, that's what I'm pointing out. We have a lot to go through tonight, and we will get into what happened at the finale. But before we get into the season, I also want to mention the Jen Shaw of it all. Mm -hmm. She's obviously not here. And I wonder, how did it feel doing the show without her? Were you worried as a group? No, I wasn't. I was no. worried that the effect that Jen had had, that people would want that type of level of, like, drama and toxicity and just craziness and that they might tune out if they didn't see it. But we are excited for the chance to get free of all of that. We were excited for a chance to, like, prove ourselves, I think, and show our friendships without that in the mix. We have a lot to talk about, okay? okay. So I want to start yeah. at the beginning. This season, new housewife Monica stepped out of her Range Rover and right into a snowstorm of drama. Through it all, this newbie was never afraid to keep it 100 with Salt Lake City's 1%. Take a look. Hi, yeah. Hi how nice are you? To meet you? I know, I, we've talked you, before. Yeah. I remember meeting Monica a few years ago. She was running an errand for Jen. So Jen had fired her assistant and I stepped in to help her. I became a witness with the federal government in her trial. Morning, how are you? As a single mom, my life consists of running my kids everywhere. This one likes football, this one likes gymnastics, this one likes art. You know what I would like? Oh my God five hours of extra sleep. It's just so tone deaf to hear you talk about money and your successes. Like, the 1% of people in the world live like you. Skate away, bye 50-year-old wannabe. Bye. Monica, you're, you're gonna age girl. too. Bye. Bye. 50-year-old wannabe, she wants to be me. She wishes she could have what I had. That's why she carries fake Chanel. <laughs> All right, do you wanna be Lisa? No. 